Thank you. Good afternoon. Sunshine and showers to take us through the rest of today. And then there are two sides to the weekend weather story. One side of the story is some unusually warm weather for this time of year, but there will also be some rain at times. On the satellite picture, you can see this area of cloud pushing up from the southwest. That's going to bring rain for some of us tomorrow. It's still really warm. I've heard people talking about an October Heat wave? Yeah, well, and I tell you what, I feel a little awkward with my autumn wardrobe here. <laughs> yeah. uh, heat wave may be in Spain and France, but here in the UK, we are certainly going to be feeling uh, the warmth. Not everybody across some parts of the country, it is still going to be a little on the cool side, but this weekend, it's certainly the headline, the autumn warmth, a bit of humidity, with some rain at times. So let me show you what's happening over the next few days. Warm, humid air will be spreading in from the southern climes across Siberia into France, the UK, and widely across the country, temperatures will exceed 20 degrees Celsius. But not immediately from that really warm air mass that's going to be across parts of England. So up to 24 degrees in London. This doesn't happen very often in October. Uh, has happened more frequently in the last few years with the warming climate, something we'd expect. But look at this outlook. You know, remember in the middle of summer, we had that dreary wet weather, cool weather at times, and now we're into October and temperatures are a little bit more like uh, August. And even in the north, nothing to be sniffed at. Look at that 18 degrees Celsius at some point next week for Belfast and for uh, Edinburgh. So yes, autumn warmth on the way. I wouldn't necessarily call it a heat wave. Thomas, although very overdressed for the blue skies behind you. I what season know. are you ready for? I know. I mean, I should be wearing my summer attire at the moment. Shirts, shorts, shorts, wear shorts. No, I'm not sure the bosses would, would uh, oh. approve that. But, but I tell you what, <laughs> talking about that, I mean, we're into autumn now. And you know what? The temperatures have decided to go back up again. I mean, it was a beautiful day today Absolutely. for some of us. Um, and uh, it looks as though over the next few days, those temperatures will keep on creeping up and we'll see skies like this across the capital. So lovely weather uh, uh, to, uh, to come. I mean, there are talks of a heat wave in the papers, but I don't think it's going to be quite as uh, warm as that. So look at these temperatures, 24 degrees. That is the average that we would normally have uh, around uh, August. So way above the average for the time of the year. If we look at the outlook, there's a little bit of a dip in the temperature around about Monday uh, into Tuesday, perhaps some thicker cloud. But, but you know, these temperatures and look at these fried eggs here on medallions. It's really looking absolutely beautiful uh, over the next few days, apart from that little fly in the ointment there uh, on Monday, which actually may end up being a relative bright day anyway. Good evening to you. It's been a near perfect autumn day as we end the week. Clearer skies through this evening and tonight, translating to some early sunshine as we slide into Saturday. A little patchy cloud and all the while staying mild for the time of year. We're on track for seeing one of the warmest Septembers on record. And Hello. It looks like this month will end up as one of the two warmest Septembers on record. That's according to provisional statistics from the Met Office. As we move to the end of the month and into the start of October, there is more autumn warmth on the way.